Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Technology Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. We're looking again at the Apple TV and getting a little bit more use out of them. And in this video we're going to take a look at the screensaver and how you can turn that into a message board that can be used in your classroom. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into settings. You can see my blue icon's already on settings. And we're going to enter. And we're going to scroll down one to screensaver. <clears throat> so the screensaver is something that starts up just like on a computer after so many minutes of uh, lacking use on the Apple TV. We've all probably seen it from time to time. But this is a great opportunity if you've got a projector that's running and you've got Apple TV running and you're taking breaks in between work or in between your speaking or student speaking to possibly use this as a message board. And the screensaver is the way that you can do it. So, first of all, notice that I have my uh, screensaver to start after so many minutes, depending on the work that we're doing. All right. And then I scroll down to Photos. And so what I'm doing here is I'm encouraging you to, find, to set up a screensaver on your Apple TV that actually uses specific photos that you want it to use instead of photos that... Um, have already been pre-selected for you by Apple. So when I go to Photos, you'll notice that I've got National Geographic and Animals, Flowers, Trailers. These are things that we're probably pretty familiar with already. But here, we've got two other options. We've got Flickr and we've got iCloud Photos. What this allows me to do, specifically with the uh, Flickr account, is to create a, an account through Flickr to upload specific photos to albums in Flickr. So you'll see here that I've got my Flickr account checked in. There's the Flickr contact that I'm using, so it uses my Flickr username. And then I've got two different albums here that I can select between. And my Apple TV is then directed at the album I want to use for that particular class period. So you could use this for um, celebrations in your class, presentations. Different classes could have different albums. Lots of different things that you could do with this. But when the uh, screensaver pops back up, instead of seeing these generic images that are available, you instead will see the specific images that I've selected. You can also use your iCloud account as well and point that to specific albums in your iCloud photos as well. So that's another great option, um, depending on what you want to do with it. We like the Flickr option, though, because multiple people can upload to that account, um, so it doesn't have to just be one individual using it. So... That's a way that you can set your Apple TV up to be digital signage in your classroom and to display specific photos that you're interested in your students or parents seeing.